Hi, I'm Jackie. Welcome to my channel. This is the first video on this channel. I'm going to focus on photography here. I'm not a professional photographer. I'm just a hobbyist. Over the past 20 years, I've used quite a few cameras and camera brands. I started out with a Sony Cybershot, then to Canon Rebel, then to Canon 5D Mark II, Canon 5D Mark III, Fuji X-T1, X-T2, X-T3, and finally yesterday I got my X-T5, which I was able to pick up on B&H used for just under $1,500. That was a great deal for me. It saved me about $200 on that. This camera is brand new. It had less than 600 actuations on it, Packaging, everything looks brand new. It came with everything, no scratches, no marks on it. So it's just beautiful. It's just as if I bought a brand new one. Doesn't have the one year warranty. It comes with a 90 day B&H warranty, but I'm comfortable with that, especially after using so many Fuji cameras over the years. I'm gonna be selling my X-T3, which six months ago, I would have said, no, I would never sell it. So times do change, things change. What, what brought me to this conclusion was I wanted to get a camera to do video with. So I bought the XS20 when it came out this, this summer in 2023. This is what I'm filming on right now. So that has worked out great for my video setup. So I can take it out to the garden to uh, do videos for gardening. And then I can bring it in here and set up a studio and do gear reviews that um, I really enjoy. My career has always been in IT and technology, so I'm a gearhead. I love um, gadgets. So it just uh, makes sense to have an XS20. And since I already had a lot of lenses for Fuji, it just didn't make sense to switch systems at this point. The only system I would have considered switching to is Sony and that's still an option in the future, a full-frame Sony camera, so I'm not ruling that out. But I did want to see what the X-T5 could do, and so far, just in the one day I've had it, I've noticed a, a considerable difference in improvement in the focusing capability and in also just the, the features that came out with the X-T4, but I never got the X-T4. So there's... A lot of like the still and movie button and uh, the battery is another big deal because on the XS20, it's got the larger battery. So now I'm maintaining two different batteries. Uh, now I won't have to, I can just have one set of batteries. Henry, Henry's crying. Henry is a little cat that just likes to bother me. Henry, do you want to say hello? Okay, this is Henry. This is Henry. He came up to the back door as a stray from the woods when he was about eight weeks old. Um, and he hung out up there under the covered patio for a few days, running into the woods every time you tried to go out there and, and find him. Uh, eventually was able to catch him and he lives here now. He's a very happy cat. So anyway, getting back to what I was saying is I won't have to maintain two different battery sets and I can also just simplify things and keep things divided. So I want to use the X-T5 for photography. I like the screen, uh, back to the screen from the X-T3 and I like the XS20 for the video. So I think I've got a good combination for right now and I think this will work. So that's my decision as far as why I changed. I'll cover in some future videos lenses that I've chosen and talk about a few other things that um, have helped me put together um, a package for making videos. Thanks for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a like. Thanks.